April 13, UPI, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un might be eager to meet with U.S. President Donald Trump, according to a South Korean delegate who met with a North Korean official for talks in Finland in March. Joe Dong-ho, president of the Institute for National Security Strategy under the state's spy agency, said Cho Kang-il, the deputy director general for North America at Pyongyang's foreign ministry, had expressed concern about the upcoming U.S.-North Korea meeting at the 1.5-track talks in Helsinki, South Korea's Financial News reported Friday. Joe attended the meeting, where he met with the North Korean official as well as an informal U.S. delegation that included former U.S. Ambassadors to Seoul Kathleen Stevens, Thomas Hubbard and Robert Carlin at Stanford University. North Korean anxiety about the summit with the United States may stem from incredulity regarding the go-ahead from Trump. Trump recently expressed excitement about the planned summit with Kim Jong-un, only months after calling him Little Rocket Man on Twitter. The issue has been resolved now, but at the time of the Finland meeting, the North Korean delegate asked how he could trust President Trump, Joe told reporters in Seoul on Friday. They were worried the summit would not go as planned, and they pleaded the summit be realized since the South Korean government made the U.S.-North Korea summit possible. Joe also said North Korea appeared to have entirely abandoned the idea of six-party talks following the announcements of summits with South Korea and the United States. They mentioned the six-party talks are dead, Joe said, adding North Korea's new strategy includes direct bilateral dealings with the United States as South Korea plays a mediating role. Nisus reported Cho also said North Korean anxiousness is a sign of its extreme eagerness to improve relations with the United States. Lee Ki Dong of the Institute of National Security Strategy said if North Korea perceives an end to what it has called U.S. hostile policy towards Pyongyang, the country could tolerate the presence of U.S. forces on the peninsula. There are 28,000 U.S. troops stationed in South Korea, 